hypothesis testing using a t-statistic it's pretty much the same as doing a hypothesis testing with z-statistics uh, you follow the same procedure but the difference is uh, you know calculation of t-statistic and also uh, the t-table is different from z-table and of course p-value is going to be different too so these are the main differences but if you know Z test and Z test is just a matter of plugging in a different formula, or if you really understand the T concept, then uh, there's not much to uh, remember again either. So let's look at the example problem here. Nine infants are shown two human faces for 20 seconds. One face is attractive, the other is less attractive, and uh, researcher tracks the amount of time in seconds each baby spends looking at each each face his theory is that on average the babies will spend a different amount of time looking at two faces that is there's an effect of facial attractiveness on the amount of time that babies look at a face in the population um, but uh, he is not theorizing that uh, you know baby is going to look at the prettier face longer and uglier face less and that's not the hypothesis uh, the theory that the, the, this uh, hypothesis that the researcher has uh, researcher is simply saying that hypothesizing that uh, there will be a difference okay so uh, null hypothesis and also alternative hypothesis you know it's going to be no effect or some effect okay so it'll be like this okay mu of attractive face would be okay because um, we are exposing babies to two different faces for 20 seconds if there's no uh, difference which is no hypothesis so if there's no difference baby will look at uh, each face for 10 seconds so we can do a hypothesis uh, make a statement like this mu attractive equals to uh, 10 seconds And alternative would be, you know, not 10 seconds. Could be more, could be less. But not 10. Just like a Z test, you know. So the same concept, you, we can use the uh, same concept to uh, set up the hypothesis testing. Okay, so you can uh, use a, uh, uh, you know, special notations and it's like it's like this and also again this is a you know kind of a psychological and educational or social uh, study so we're gonna use a five percent or point zero point zero five uh, alpha level in other words okay we are okay with there being a 5% chance of making a type 1 error. So we'll set our alpha level at 0 0.05. Okay. Now, um, as in Z test, you know, in T test as well, we need to set, uh, set up the uh, critical, you know, critical values or uh, you know the alpha level you know the T lines uh, okay so alpha level is you know 0 0.05 and it's gonna be two tailed so on each side it's gonna be 0 0.025 and degree of freedom you know that's part of the formula so we have to know that but we'll get back to that later okay First of all, uh, why did we need a degree of freedom? 
uh, it's probably that's just because look at this uh, because variance changes uh, variances um, based on samples that's why you know depending on the, uh, the population size variance is going to dif uh, be different uh, oops degree of freedom is a represent representation of uh, you know population size you know because it's n minus 1 right and uh, in this example uh, we have how many babies was it let's get back there let's go back there okay so uh, nine infants so there are nine baby so when we have nine babies or nine you know uh, values in population there's uh, eight degrees of freedom because nine minus one is going to be n minus one is degree of freedom when there's uh, eight degrees of freedom these are going to be the uh, you know values for uh, critical values you know critical value changes because the shape changes you know because the variance can ch variance variance changes okay so uh, okay here degrees freedom in eight and uh, we want to set the uh, alpha level uh, at 0 0.05 with the two tails com combined so we look at this and look at that and uh, cross section of these two would be this 2.306 okay is that right right mm. and this is how we set the uh, critical regions so this is gonna be the uh, you know point zero two five twenty five percent twenty five percent yeah twenty five I mean twenty five two point five percent two point five percent and this is gonna be the, those values uh, minus two point three zero six and plus two point three zero six so th and this is a critical regions okay so if if the sample falls into into these areas that means it's uh, not the just a uh, you know a sampling error means it's there's some significance you know statistical significance in the in, in the value okay so it's calculate the t and you no know, that's how you do and if the t statics statistic and uh, falls into its critical region then we just reject no hypothesis and saying that uh, you know uh, there's some effect you know so how do you get how do how do we get the a t value I mean t statistic you know first of all this is a formula right and uh, if we know how to get the s sub m then we all set okay first of all mean attractive equals to 13 suppose that on average the nine babies look at the attractive phase for 13 seconds of the 20 seconds okay so the sample mean would be you know uh, after 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 ex experiment would be uh, based on the experiment would be you know 13 and sample variance for time spent looking at the attractive face was huh? nine seconds um, you know how do we calculate this um, okay we don't have the data but you know the the table is on the textbook 
So if you if I look at the textbook, we can calculate the uh, you know sample variance from uh, you know it's a sum of square divided by n minus one, right? So that's how we do, and that's nine. So <laughs> you know we just skip the process here, and uh, so okay, mean for the sample population was thirteen. I mean attractive in this you know there are two populations you know mean of the Anyway, uh, okay, babies, you know, the average or mean of the seconds that the babies look at the attractive face was 13, and uh, sample variance was 9, you know, when you do a calculation. Okay, so, this is how you calculate, uh, you know, sample uh, sub you know uh, sample what, what do you call that standard error sample standard error okay so okay n was nine right and uh, this is nine so it's gonna be one so now we know this is one and it was 13 and it's 10 and 1 so it's going to be t equals thir 3 okay so 3 falls in is right here and critical crit, no, z uh, t t score i mean t t value for the critical region a critical uh, point is uh 2.306 so it's you know, in the critical region, so we reject the null hypothesis that there was no difference. So, because my t statistic is in the critical region of the t test distribution, t distribution, okay, we know that the, my p value is less than the alpha level. Instead of giving exact exact p value, we can just say p is smaller than zero point zero five. And you know, because we don't know the p value for that, uh, so we don't have the table to get the exact uh, p value for that, you know, t uh, statistics. So this is good enough, and this less than five percent chance I would see a data like nine uh, on my mind if there's no effect. And that's the conclusion. So, ah, I mean, conclusion is this. I reject null hypothesis. The T statistics falls in the critical region and the P value is less than the alpha level. I conclude that in a population, babies don't spend the same amount of time looking at the attractive and less attractive faces. They seem to prefer attractive faces. You know, I guess we could uh, say that there is an effect of attractiveness on the amount of uh, time babies spend looking at faces. Um, positive, you know.